Oof. God, I hate littering. Whoa! What is up, guys? I am Manga Guitar 96, and welcome to Dave the Diver. Now, I've seen Gab Smolders actually play this game all over on her channel. I'm a huge fan of her channel, by the way. And when I saw this game, I said to myself, oh my god, I gotta try to play this game. And I figured, why not make a recording out of it too? So, I'm really looking forward to this. The game looks so good. The graphics look amazing. I'm just so excited for this. So, without further ado, guys, like, I, I don't know where else to go with this. I just really want to dive into this. Yeah, no pun intended. Anyway... I want to check this game out, so I'm excited. I can't wait to play this with you guys. So, without further ado, here we go. And by the way, huge shout out to Gab Smolders' Discord, just because you guys are nothing but awesome people. I'm already liking this. This one's in full screen. in fourth grade we used to keep them I was friendly with one named Minnie she was so sweet may she rest in peace can of root. Haven't had a can of root in a while. <laughs> the animation is pretty good, I gotta admit. That whole 8-bit look, it actually is quite charming. Alright, you know what? This feels like it's gonna take forever, so may as well. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Dave! You got here quickly! Mm -hmm. Well, I was told to hurry here. I was on vacation, you know. So, where's the sushi at? <laughs> <laughs> Don't rush yourself! Have a look around! Look at this giant blue hole. I've never seen anything like this. It's not just the size. Every time you enter the giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes, which means <laughs> this could be an incredible business opportunity. Yeah. What kind of business? Well, we can discuss that later. I heard you took a break from diving. How about warming up? Oh. I'll guide you from here. Go ahead and go on in. <laughs> hmm. I don't have a good feeling about this. Prologue, a sushi bar by the blue hole. Uh, try moving arrows, W-A-S-D. Uh, oh boy, uh, hang on a minute, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and change the controls. Alright. And you know what? Looks like it's gonna be a pain in the neck, so... W-A-S-D it is! I'm not used to doing W-A-S-D. I like using, uh, the arrow keys when I play. Whoa! Ice form! <laughs> Alright, how about try stretching out a bit? Try moving to the marked area. With the shift, you can move quickly. Remember that this speeds up oxygen consumption. Yeah, this is way better. Okay, yeah. Good! Looks like your skills are intact. Your moves are as nimble as freshwater snail. No, wait, your moves are as nimble as a freshwater snail. Now, let's practice. Let's now practice by using the weapon you'll need. Co contingencies. The dive knife. Try using the survival knife on small fish. You can use the mouse button, yeah. Oh my god, look at that. Well done, smooth and quick. And finally, you haven't forgotten how to use the harpoon, have you? 
The harpoon? Well, I haven't used one in a long time. Do you aim first and then... Mm, looks like you'll need some practice. Let's try using the harpoon to catch. Let's say three fish. Aim with the uh, so-and-so, so-and-so, and now try it for yourself. Hey, I got one! Nice! Sweet! Oh, this is gonna be a blast. I think we should try to get you back on track. I think that should try to get you back on track in no time. Sorry. You know me. Alright, come back up to the boat. Okay, now that you got the hang of it, let's get down to business. Dave, you love sushi, right? For sure. That soft fish meat with oily rice? Oh man, that's just the best. Oh. <laughs> well, listen up. I have a friend who is a sushi chef who left the business for a while. He has a bit of a sharp tongue and a slight temper, but he has one skill that I can guarantee is unmatched in the world. <laughs> It is right here that I started a restaurant with my friend that sells one-of-a-kind sushi. Mm -hmm. The sushi sold here is made from fresh fish caught in the blue hole, where fish from all over the world can be found. Mm -hmm. Don't you think people will just go nuts for it? Mm -hmm. Yum, I'm already craving it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I bet so. Why don't you join in on this awesome venture as well? What do you say? Mm -hmm. I mean, I love eating, but... I don't know a thing about cooking. Uh -huh. Nothing to worry about. The restaurant is all ready. Uh -huh. All you need to do is dive to get the ingredients. Uh -huh. Doesn't sound too bad, right? Yes! Uh -huh. Now, here's a bit of a personal fact about myself. I'm actually a strict vegan. I don't eat fish meat or anything of that nature. I actually, my father grew up in a fishing village and he grew up like cooking fish the whole nine yards. So I actually did grow up on eating shrimp and other type of shellfish. And I'm not going to lie to you, my dad, give him the correct ingredients. He can make the meanest shrimp spaghetti pasta that you've ever had. Like shrimp and marinara sauce with pasta. Oh my God, that stuff was so good. In fact, I even remember my neighbors used to, back when I was growing up, my neighbors used to do work around the house for us. And one time we were having shrimp with pasta for dinner and my parent, my, fa my family, they offered them like some shrimp with uh, pasta for dinner, like just as a thank you. And both my neighbor and his brother-in-law looked at each other and go, when our wives cook it, it's not that good. After they had my dad's recipe, their wives both called my dad asking, what's your recipe? Like, how did you cook this so well? <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, anyway, back to the game. So I can eat as much sushi- So I can eat as much sushi as I want? Yeah, sure. You'll have to pay, though. Can't wait to check it out! The sushi restaurant next to the blue hole! It was supposed to open tonight, but I'm not sure if it's ready. Let's go and have a chat at the restaurant. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, press the, uh, uh space. Uh, Alright. Wow, the graphics are actually way better than when I saw it on Gap's channel. It's, it's incredible, this game. I can already tell I'm gonna like it. Hey, Boncho! Are we all ready to open? <laughs> As you can see, it's not ready. It's ready just in time. Mm. Oh, it's already finished? Mm. You? Ah, you're the fisherman Cobra was talking about. Mm. Well, I'm more of a diver than a fisherman. <laughs> all right. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Boncho. Mm. So you like sushi? I sure do! Tuna belly, eel, sea urchin. Oh boy, just thinking about it, it makes my mouth water. Hmm, just a medio just as mediocre as I as expected. 
Sushi is a food that combines the soul of the sea and the land. It symbolizes Mother Nature herself. Most people, however, have only tasted the more accessible fish just like you. How empty a life is, one that ends without ever tasting the beauty Mother Nature can offer. My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to everyone. Okay, there is a bit of a grammar error. <laughs> oh, hell no! Oh, come on, dude! An, an earthquake? Hmm, the interior is really quite a mess. Yeah! It looks like we will have to delay the opening today. You know what? I spent all my money gathering, getting this restaurant ready. I'll have to recover the repair costs through doing business. In this state? <laughs> In the end, the importance of a restaurant is the taste. First, we need... Wait. First, we need ingredients. Did you bring anything? Well... I have something I just caught. Only three fish? This won't be nearly enough to serve the guests. Please go and catch seven more fish first. Oh, and... The restaurant is going to be open only in the evening. Hmm. Won't that decrease sales? You think we should invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a little more money? It is a chef's duty to prepare the best possible food with meticulous precision, just as a warrior sharpens his sword on a whetstone. You will need to get me the best quality ingredients during the day. Okay. All right, here we go. We're going fishing, people. It seems Boncho is really passionate about his work. He may not talk about personal stuff, but this guy can talk about sushi all night. <laughs> I haven't seen Boncho so enthusiastic since the incident. It's nice to see him like this. The incident? Oops, maybe I shouldn't have brought it up. Well, anyway, we need more ingredients, so go catch seven fish first. Okay, prepare sushi ingredients. Incoming! Geronimo! I actually used to do fishing a lot when I was a kid. I never did saltwater fishing. It was more so freshwater fishing. Where I grew up, there was this res uh, like reservoir nearby. And pretty much speaking, my dad and I used to go there all the time to do fishing. After I went vegan and... Unfortunately, my dad's health isn't really what I call the best these days. We pretty much speaking stopped fishing altogether. But it's a good thing I have a VR helmet, because pretty much speaking, it allows my dad a chance to do fishing again. That's one of the beauties about VR. Okay, I gotta get used to the harpoon. That one is a little, uh... Time to go ahead and get used to, because it's kind of a catch and release system. I have to remember, click one button first, then click the other. There we go. What the hell? Can I cook you? Okay, you know what? Let's go exploring a little bit. Okay, I got another one. Oh, oxygen. Need. Oh, wow. We are getting a lot of fish right now, people. 
cheap Japanese sword. Oh, hell yeah! A katana! <laughs> I'm a menace! Oh, wait. Hello. Kajime. Nice! Okay. Get back here so I get cookie with something delicious. Okay, we got seven fish, but I still want to get more, so let's go ahead and do so. Okay, yeah. I gotta get used to this thing. Oh, an orbicular... Yeah, I couldn't read that. Sorry. <laughs> what the hell? Wood! Okay, my aims kind of sucks. Okay, maybe my aim isn't as bad as I thought it was. Okay, so I think we got enough fish for now. Let's serve these bad boys tonight. <laughs> All right. Looks like you caught quite a few. At this rate, we'll be we'll make boatloads of money in no time. <laughs> my my, would you look at the time? We'll have to hurry up and get things ready. Why don't you head to the sushi bar? All right. Nice. The biggest fish we caught today was a blue tang. Spent three minutes in the water. Uh, the de closest depth is 22 meters. Uh, caught 11 fish. Obtained one best fish. And okay. So looks like we got some good stuff. Wrap up your day to get things ready. Okay. By the way, you'll only be able to dive once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Get the ingredients ready before the dinner hours start. And our bank is basically zero to none right now, so we better start making some money. Boncho, how are the preparations coming along? Hmm, I think we're mostly set. That's good. Here's to a great evening. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? You're to help me run the sushi bar from today onwards. What? I I don't understand. Cobra told me that there would be somebody to help with the ingredients and serving. He said all I need to do is cook. And who else is there for that but you? Wait, I never worked at a restaurant before. The guests will be here soon. I'll give you a quick primer, so pay attention. What? Open the ingredients below. Okay, so I click four. Here you can check your fish, crops, sauces, and all the other materials you have. For now, that's all you need to know. Come back later for more information. Okay, press E to close the ingredients window. Oh wait, C, my bad. All right, now I'll show you how to register actual items to the menu. Okay, one. Now, new recipes need to be added to the menu before they can be sold to customers. There's a sushi recipe for the fish you acquired earlier, so try registering that to the menu. Ooh, let's see. Uh, we got uh, cardinal fish sushi, so... All right, that probably wasn't that hard. Setting ingredients to auto supply will make things a bit more convenient. Let me repeat, only food on the menu can be sold. If you run out of ingredients, you'll have to replace items on the menu or refill the ingredients. You'll also enhance the flavor of dishes, so try it out when you have enough ingredients. 
Now, use the ingredients you caught to fill out the menu as much as you can. Okay, uh... We don't have anything for the, uh, auto supply, so... Let's see, uh... Salema Porgy uh, Sushi, uh... Yeah, we'll sell that tonight, uh... Ooh, Blue Tang Sushi. Yeah, let's sell that puppy today. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I actually had vegan sushi not long ago, and oh my god, it was so good. I actually tried regular sushi, like non-vegan sushi, one time. I was never really big on eating raw fish. I always preferred my fish cooked when, before I went vegan. But I had to admit it wasn't that bad. But I do have to admit, vegan sushi is something else. It is really good. Okay, so that's our menu tonight. How long are you going to stand there talking? Give me a cup of green tea to quench my thirst. Hmm. Have you perhaps poured green tea before? Okay, the Japanese word for green tea is actually ocha. So that's a little fun fact for the day. The, gra the Japanese word for green tea is actually ocha. No, only soft drinks, I think. I'll tell you how. Go over to Cobra. Oh yeah, I gotta get used to that. Okay, sometimes customers will order drinks. Uh, S to pour uh, the tea just to write them out. Oh, sh Ooh, restart. Okay, green tea. Uh, customers who drink green tea of a good or higher will get paid more. Nice! <laughs> As expected, Bancho's green tea is quite something. Now I want green tea. I got a couple of baggies of it. Mm. That taste really got my appetite going. Is there something to eat, perhaps? Demanding as always. Why don't you try serving him some food while you're at it? Come over to where I am and take this food. Okay, you can dash when serving the food. Use the shift to move quickly. Uh... Oh my god, poor Dave. Hello? You sent the package last week, you say? What in the world? Let me check on that. Hmm. Cobra didn't even eat. He's always distracted like that. Hmm. The food can't be reused, so we'll have to throw it out. Hmm. It seems like such a waste to throw it away. <laughs> Bancho Susie never reuses food. We do not put food made for guests on the table twice. Hmm. Well, all right. Okay. Everything looks about ready. Hmm, I haven't cooked for customers in a while. Kinda nervous. Don't forget to press E after filling the menu for business to begin. Okay, customers will order dishes from the menu. Don't forget to register dishes to the menu before the sushi bar opens. Okay, so let me check just to be safe. All right, I think we are ready to go. Uh, come and get it! Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. These types of games always got me nervous. Uh, let's see. Like, I'm not used to playing, like, restaurant games. Okay. I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming! Oh, uh, let's see. Please understand, it's our first night! <laughs> ok, 
Okay, one ocha. Getting somewhere, which is a good sign. All right, we've made our first night. We only made half our money back. Five stars and five artesian flames. Nice. Okay, so that part is a little nerve wracking. I'm going to be honest with you, but I think once I get the hang of it, I think I'll be a little more set to go. Phew! Work's finally done for the day. My back and legs hurt. I see. You were a bit clumsy, but not bad for a first day. Try a little harder next time. Work it all. I suppose coming from you, that's a compliment. <laughs> a man should not feel gratification from a simple compliment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, all right. In any case, a toast to the opening of Buncho Sushi. have going on here oof god I hate littering whoa My first thought, pretty much speaking, is we're gonna turn that into a sushi right away. <laughs> oh god, what kind of vegan am I? Hmm. Okay, anyway, let's see. Uh, this chick's name's Ellie. Hmm. Are you the man who's been diving around here? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Tsk. I was expecting a more professional looking guy. Well, excuse you, lady. I can hear you, you know. In any case, can you do something for me? Shouldn't you tell me who you are first? I'm Ellie. I study biology at the local graduate school. I've come out to investigate after reports of anomalies in the area. Satisfied? Okay, so what do you want? I like to study the ecology of this blue hole. Get me some agar and red star fir fish first. I don't think it's a good idea to ask for just one of each. Get me two of each. Mm. Your tone makes me want to refuse. Oh. Hmm. I've got a reward, but if you don't want it, that's fine by me. Oh. A re reward? Well, I wasn't refusing. I'm just saying you could ask more nicely. In any case, please hurry. Don't dally. Oh, God. She's like one of those bitches who thinks she can get men to do whatever she wants. Okay, you can use your phone to access various types of content. Uh, nice! Okay, so let's see. Uh, wow. Prepare a bunch of sushi. Uh, yeah, we can do this. All right, people! Get a ball! I gotta say, I think this is a game I would see my dad like. Oh, whoa! Look at the place! Look at all this! This is so pretty! One thing I gotta say is I always respect indie developers Game developers in general Like anything may you be a major corporation Ooh nice An underwater scooter I actually had that when I was a teenager 
We used it around my pool, but it was a pile of crap and it ended up breaking. Got water in its main panel. Oh, the irony of that. Something that's meant to be underwater and it gets water in its main circuit board and breaks. Crap quality, if you ask me. Anyway, I always respect game developers in general. Just to be able to sit there and take coal, like, uh, coding and everything. Just to be able to do any of this. Oh my god! What did I collect? What the hell is this thing? I basically got a taser stick! Or is it a cattle prong? Whatever. All right, people, we gotta go get something for that ungrateful bitch. Mm. Ah, it hurts. Mm. I don't think sea urchins can be picked up with these gloves. Oh, <laughs> nope. I'm getting the hell out of here. Bye, buddy. Oh yeah, I remember! Wait. Let me go ahead and uh, screw with the settings. Hell to the air! Great, now we don't have to worry about that anymore. Let's try to get some more stuff. Nice! Alrighty, let's see. Uh... Ooh, a place where we could call the, for help. Nice, nice. We're getting somewhere, people. Oh, hey, quest markers. Uh, let's see. Okay, we got a red starfish. Now we just need one more. Oh, a piece of wood. That could always come in handy. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. We just need one more starfish and we're golden. Ooh, wood. We could always use wood. Always get supplies, people. Always get supplies. Oh, shoot. Gotta admit, I want to try deep sea diving one day. But if anything, I would do it with a professional. Like someone who's actually, like... If you exceed the weight, uh, you'll be slowed down. Oh, crud. I'm over encumbered, people. And my oxygen's getting low. Well, I do have the afternoon to find the other starfish, so... And I'm running out of air. Good thing I'm returning to the boat anyway. <laughs> Oh, wow! Okay, we made a quite the haul, people! Hmm. Dave, did you get to loosen up yesterday? Hmm. hmm, I saw a lot of nasty fish. It won't be easy to go any deeper. Hmm, I did notice that the fish in the blue hole have an odd violent streak. Perhaps something puts them on edge? Speaking of which, why don't you also take a gun in addition to the harpoon? I think I know what puts them on edge, and it's called somebody invading their home and killing all of them. 
A gun? I have a friend who's knowledgeable about guns. I'll introduce you to him. Wow, Cobra. It's been a while. Who is this goofy looking guy next to you? Sorry that I was is it sorry, that wasn't the nicest thing to say to a stranger. I'm Dave, a professional diver. Interesting. I thought divers were athletic and muscular. You seem to defy my prior knowledge. Oh come on! Leave the weight jokes out of this! People who live in glass houses! Yeah, like you're any better, Duff. I mean come on. So What's this about? I'd like you to get to straight to the point. Hello. I've got- I've begun a very interesting business! <laughs> and now I'm in need of some weapons. Duff, I need your help. Why do I personally feel like uh, Cobra was in the Mafia at one point? Okay, let's see. Hmm, season 2 of Strastella just ended anyway. I'll give you a listen. Alright. I actually discovered a fascinating giant blue hole. The terrain and ecology inside it changes every time you go inside. Oddly, any equipment found inside breaks down when brought out. I'd like you to make us a weapon that can be used inside. Hmm. That's rather, that is rather interesting. You piqued my interest as a weapon researcher, you could say. My hypothesis is that... Anything that is not made from materials found in the blue hole will continue to break break down. This will be especially true of guns, which has precision which have precision parts. Hmm. So we'll have to get the materials from the sea ourselves. <laughs> Dave, you'll have to prove yourself as a diver to this master duff. I'm not sure why I should have to prove myself to you. Just take, tell me what you need. Since it appears you have no guns... Uh, since it appears you have no guns at all, let's start with something easy. I think I'll need one rope and one scrap iron. You heard him, right, Dave? Enter the blue hole and bring back rope and scrap iron. By the way, if you run out of oxygen midday, you'll only be able to make it back with one item. Always keep that in mind. Okay, that is very handy to know. Alright, let's go for another dive and... See where it takes us. Ooh, parrotfish. Damn. Oh, there's the other starfish. Nice, we need that. Just my luck. What a haul. Okay, now we got for that horrible woman. Alright, let's catch some fish people and also try to find some stuff. Not gonna lie, this is actually quite quaint. Oh, hello! What do we have here? Copper ore! Nice! And we got the first rope! Man! Our luck is showing like crazy right now! Oh, there's the scrap iron, but there's jellyfish. Eh, whatever, I got it. Oh man, a jellyfish sting. Ever got stung by one? They hurt like a bitch from what I hear. Why, but I just felt the urge to do that, you know? <laughs> Whatever, I don't have the uh, materials ready for that. Can't take that on. What in God's name are you? Huh? 
Okay. I am not gonna lie to you guys, playing this game is making me hungry. A lot. I'm definitely gonna grab some dinner after this. What do we have here? Oh, katana! Hey! Oh wait, I forgot to pick it up. Alrighty. I want the big fishy. I got him! Holy crap! Oh, there's still plenty. Oh, yeah, we eating good tonight. Got him. All right, I'm over encumbered, so let's get back. think you'd actually manage to bring it back. I'd expected you to quietly expire in the depths, you could say. Nice guy. Yeah, I'm with you on that one, Dave. Seems I have underestimated you slightly. Very well. I'll show you how to make the basic underwater rifle with these materials. First of all, download Duff's Weapon Shop on your phone. It's well optimized. Only 42 megabytes, you could say. Okay, craft. What the hell? Oh, this is a Megazoid sh Look at this! Oh god, my dad would so love this game. I gotta show this to him when I get a minute, 100%. I think he's gonna get a like a he's gonna get a kick out of this. <laughs> With a neat explanation like that, even someone like you should have understood. <laughs> well, I guess. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. <laughs> I've taken some measures to allow you to open weapons chests up underwater. <laughs> wow, weapons chests? <laughs> you can't bring them out of the sea, but they can still come in handy you could say. Yeah. Oh, but I'll collect info about the weapons you pick up and create blueprints for you. Okay. Weapons ma made with a blueprint won't break down underwater, you could say. In any case, this master will be watching you. Goodbye, Eternity! Achievement unlocked! Undersea Gunslinger! Okay, so we got it. Oh! This chick. Hmm. You actually brought them back. I guess I expected too little of you. All right, this should do for now. I'll give you a reward as promised, since you helped me do my research. The sudden ecological changes in this region will need to be studied further, so I'll continue to need your services. Add my number. All right, we got money. Olive oil and soy sauce, nice! Oh, Dave, you collected 100 gold! Great job! This should be enough to repair what's broken. <laughs> then give me some time. These repairs need to be done right. I really hope the customers keep coming. 
Repair Boncho Sushi uh, is now completed. Biggest fish we caught was the parrotfish. We are ready for tonight, people. All right, let's do another round. Okay, oh, oh, wait a minute. No, I haven't even uh, put the menu out yet. Oh, God. That would have been nuts. Let's enhance. Oh, don't have enough to enhance. Uh, I can enhance this sucker. Salt Bay. <laughs> All right, level two. Nice. Uh... Let's see, uh, enhance this sucker. Achieve and unlock, culinary master, uh, enhance five dishes. Okay, the blue tang. Oh, wow, I have enough to uh, enhance it again. Dang. Okay. Okay, let's add, uh, we're gonna put parrotfish on the menu today. Uh, circular bat fish fry. Okay, that sounds gross as all hell. Alrighty, uh, let's see, uh, norimaki, uh, ingredients, let's see, check the ingredients. Yeah, I'd say we're kind of good to go at the moment. Alright, let's do this. Welcome to Bancho Sushi. May I take your order? God, why do you have to be on the, all, on the other end of the table, lady? Oh god, I'm out of breath. Please understand, it's only just me right now. This place is still, uh, let's see, uh, okay. Okay, uh, let's see, S. Excellent. Uh, let's see. Uh... Okay, the good news is we're getting somewhere. Thank goodness. Okay, I think I put a little too much food out since we're only getting a small amount of customers at the moment. Oh, sweet! That's awesome. Still raining. What the? Are you Dave by any chance? No. Yes. What is it, sir? <laughs> wow. I'm always right about these things. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Bacon. I'm an archaeologist who studies the Sea People Civilization. Mm. The Sea People Civilization? <laughs> I'll explain it to you. Aren't you lucky to have an expert like me to tell you about them? Mm. Um, maybe I should have asked. Ooh, oh. explanation! Okay, I'm loving this game uh. so far. Oh, sh**.
Uh, I was supposed to read that uh, they worshipped. Uh, they live in the depths uh, below the flourish without any concerns of invasions of other civilizations. It is just going without me being able to read it. So, and that's about there is to the story. Everyone thinks it's a myth and nothing more, of course. I didn't even get a chance to read that. Come on, man. All right, if you guys want to read it, unfortunately, you're going to have to pause the video for this. I'm sorry. But proof that they were real was found right in the vicinity of this place. Huh? This is an amazing find. One that could turn the whole academic world upside down. An ancient civilization under the sea. You'd only see such things in comic books or games or movies. You ever heard of Atlantis? I mean, what makes you so sure they were real? My assistant closely analyzed the artifact found nearby and found that it is from no known civilization. It's dated around 1500 years as well. There were no civilizations in these parts back then. Hmm, that is interesting. But what business do you have with me? Well, you see, my assistant's cryptocurrency investments didn't pan out, and he won't be around for a good while. That's why I'd like you to help me. Oh. My assistant told me that the artifact was found 70 meters or so below the surface. Please go take a look. We're busy with the sushi bar. I don't think we can. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the conversation. I'm Cobra. I work with Dave. Yeah, of course you would get in on it if it means money, buddy. Of course we should help you. We're gla we'll gladly do so. <laughs> yeah. What? We don't have the time to swim around searching for artifacts? Think about it. If an underwater civilization is discovered, countless people will flock here. Pancho Sushi will be bursting at the seams. Hmm. Mm, I suppose you have a point. <laughs> All right, I'll help. <laughs> Isn't that lucky? Oh, of course. I won't be asking you to work for free. I'll upgrade the diving suit you're wearing for free. Whoa! With an enhanced diving suit, You'll be able to venture deeper. This is essential for exploration. These days, even such things can be handled by an app. Technological advancements are amazing, eh? They are. Let's first install the iDiver app on the phone before we proceed. All right, now then, let me tell you how to use iDiver. Install the app for you. I'll install the app for you, so unlock your phone first. Alrighty, so... Upgrade! Good! Now you'll be able to venture a bit deeper! Once you have enough money, use iDiver to enhance your equipment. You can enhance your suit as well as your cargo box and oxygen tank. Never forget that anything can happen in deep waters. I'll be in touch! Chapter 1, Traces of the Sea People. Achievement unlocked, better equipped. Alright guys, you know what? I'm going to leave this episode of Dave the Diver here. I'm actually having a lot of fun playing this game, but I really want to take my sweet time with this, you know? I really kind of don't want to make it hour long and whatnot, but as much as I'm tempted to make them hour long episodes, I'm also really wanting to go ahead and pretty much take my sweet time with this as I stated. I'm really liking this and I just can't wait to play more of this but anyway if you guys like what you saw today be sure to leave a like on the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also leave, hit the bell notification so that way you know when I go live or have a brand new episode up and running. Also check out my second channel Manga G Cosplay for all your cosplay related goodness but also leave a comment down below if you have any helpful advice for me in this game. You guys have been nothing but awesome. And as always, arigatou gozaimasu and see you next time.